Guys, it's Fonzie with DipYourCar.com, world famous peelable auto paints. So we've got the DYC S3 in here today, and we're gonna be doing a new color on it. And we just did a color on this car a couple months ago. If you remember, we took a whole bunch of different random stuff, mixed it together, and ended up with this badass green. Now, one of the techniques that we did in that video was we took two similar pearls, the radioactive green and the nebula yellow, and we mixed them both into the green tint, and we ended up with just an amazing OEM, highly metallic finish. Now, I wanted to replicate that technique on the S3 again, but using blues. So, what we did is we sat down, I was talking to Gabe and a couple other guys, and I was like, what two blue pearls can we use to mix together to make this super metallic blue? So we went through everything from deep sea to Suzuka blue, ocean blue, Sora blue, cotton candy blue, we went down the list. Like we had seven different pearls lined up, and at, at one point I was just like, you know what, bro, let's just put them all in. Drop all of them in, 25 grams each, and just make this whole massive destruction of blues working together. Those will all go into a blue tinted Spray Wrap Pro, lay it down on the car. Now, we're, we've got the Dipcon convention coming up in a month or so. We've got a whole bunch of Plasti Dip cars. We wanted to get a couple Autoflex cars ready for the show. So in this case, we're gonna be using Autoflex again, just like we did with the green, so we can have a fair comparison of the end results. Now, I know sometimes I'll say, oh, I have no idea how this is gonna turn out. Come on, at this point, with this one, how can this one possibly not be awesome? Let's jump right in. So here is the end result, and as expected, it came out awesome. Now there's something really cool about overloading a pearl, or pearls in this case, into a tinted clear. And that's that when you have no direct sunlight on the car, you get one color, a darker color, and the tint basically takes over. But when you get that direct light source on the car, the metallics and the pearls completely take over, and you essentially have two completely different looks of that car. And we actually stayed on location here long enough to capture images and video in the, the overcast as well as the direct sunlight so you can see the two different personalities of this end result. Now of course this car was done in Autoflex professional coatings. Now if you're a professional this is the coating that you should be using. If you're not a professional and you still want Autoflex on your car 
go to autoflexcoatings.com and you can find authorized autoflex applicators that will do the job for you correctly now if you're a diy customer and you want to do this project of course you can do this project use either light blue or flex blue pds and dump all those pearls directly into it just like we did here get about five or six coats of your blue base down then dump all those pearls in and lay two or three coats of the color on top it's going to come out awesome if you want a matte finish leave it alone if you want a glossy finish as a diy put about two coats of the dyc top coat on top real quick this is just one of those projects where you step back you look at it we're capturing video and images and it's just astounding how much progress has been made since five six years ago when i was spraying cars in my driveway with no shoes on with pd aerosols to where the removable peelable paint industry is at today it's almost impossible to believe that this can be peeled off your car but sure enough it can now if you have any questions at all Email us, call us, or chat with us directly on dipyourcar.com. If you have any questions, believe me, we're going to do the best we can to give you the answers so you can proceed with your project and get it done the right way. It's Fonzie. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you on the next one.